Are you curious about this airport? I had a fantastic time exploring it in the afternoon and I'm back this evening to witness it at its peak. And I'll be tackling what you need to know when going to this airport in the evening. From expectations of traffic at the airport to the ban on those they called meters and greeters. Airlines that originate from this new terminal and all the creative and innovative things the airport authority are bringing on board and things that passengers have flagged as being challenges at this new terminal. It's hectic this evening. What's going on? A whole lot of red brake lights. You can see traffic is backed up quite a bit. Imagine if you have a flight to catch. You have to really leave home early if you want to make it for your flights. The airport access road can get quite congested, very frustrating, so make sure to plan your journey accordingly. From where we're staying to the airport, supposed to have taken us like 10 minutes because it's just within the airport, but it took us almost an hour to get to the drop-off. Traffic is backed up all the way about some kilometers to the entrance of the airport. Aside the access road approaching the airport, in and around the airport are well lit. And I'm here to meet with Mr. Sunday Ayodele, the Southwest Regional Manager of this airport. How are you? I'm very well. I'm waiting Good for evening. you. That's Thank nice. You. Thank you. Good to see you. Thank you very again. much. I'm grateful. All right. Yeah. The day I came here in the afternoon, the whole place is free. And now you can see a lot of traffic. Most evenings, that is when we have our traffic, especially our optimum traffic. Having been here in the day, I've come to understand that the traffic isn't because the access road is small, though it can be wider, but rather this congestion is caused by passengers, motorists, and as well as meters and greeters. And these are the family members, well-wishers, and others who have no business being at the airport in the first place, crowding the entrance. It took the intervention of regional manager to get them out of the way for passengers to get into the terminal. This is just one big mess. You can see right here. Massive crowd at my back. Yes. And I see a whole lot of other people sitting out there. How are you coordinating passengers from here to there? Nigerians be who we are. We love to see our people off. One to five, one to eight, meaning you have one passenger being escorted by five, six, seven, eight people, and all of them want to have access into the terminal. One passenger with almost uh, seven, eight uh, meters and greeters, they come around to see off their loved ones. But then, when we were in the old terminal, these were some of the crowds that uh, the whole terminal could conveniently take okay. without people really knowing that uh, we have this kind of traffic. Now that uh, we have moved to the new terminal, the same crowd will still come. Even when you ask them to go somewhere else to go and stay, they will still want to remain to make sure that their people enter and even still wait until they feel the passenger the aircraft has taken off. Even some will be there until their family tells them they are safely in their home or in their destination. So no matter what you do to ask them to move, no matter where you provide for them, they will always still want to stay to make way for passengers, family and friends are now prohibited except if you're traveling. And if it's done, it is a big shift. It's all in the name of streamlining the airport experience. So say all your goodbyes, leave home early so that you can have a place you can sit quietly and have some alone time with your friends or family before heading to the airport. Once you get to the airport, they will not be allowed to get inside the terminal with you. And they have also stationed soldiers to help airport security maintain orderliness here and to keep non-travelers out. But why we have the soldiers is that will deter a lot of people, especially non-travelers, from gaining access into the terminal. If not, so the place will be crowded. But still, these guys don't listen. Nigerians don't read. That's the funny thing. We have signages telling them, keep moving, no waiting, don't stay around. The issue is that they will still wait. 
and of course we can't beat them one thing is for sure they have come up with a smart solution what we intend to do now is that we want to have two places where we'll turn it more, more or less like a sit out okay. one under that canopy where somebody has already applied for it and then there is another one near the same car park we also want to have a sit out around that place where we'll be able to trap at least these people when they come especially with their loved ones who are traveling one i believe when we do this most of these people that are traveling they still have some naira they still have some money in their pockets that they can spend so we can keep them there at least they will spend that money and then we'll get the money and of course we'll still be able to also solve this crowd problem mr ayodele says the place will be innovative and it's part of the bigger plan so we've already called our project people they are giving us the drawing but all in all we are coping with them this is the only entrance that we have into the terminal building. Here it used to be the drop-off point, so they did well by moving the drop-off from here. You can imagine if anything were to go wrong. In case of safety or any safety concerns, of course you are know that definitely this is going to be a problem because trying to evacuate people will be a problem here. That is one of the reasons why we don't want a lot of people. We don't want especially the non-travelers yeah. to come into the terminal building. But then we allow only the crew members, passengers, the security people to have entrance to this place creating more access way entrances and exits are now top priority so let's see the creative solutions they have come up with we are trying to get the staff gate where only the staff can begin to assess the terminal building without using this place so that we will not continue to struggle with the passengers along this route and uh, we have been able to identify about two places where we can begin to use our staff entrances for only strictly only for staff why this place will only be for only the passengers and then the crew members some other security agencies okay. for now is it provision to create another entrance yes we have already met with uh, the ccc the contractor that constructed the terminal building we verify a place where we can uh, at least they can give us another entrance we are looking at how we can have a link bridge from the car park into the terminal building so that at least and then we'll have uh, our screening machine and everything we'll have both in and out so that at least when passengers drop from their vehicle they through the car park they can access the terminal building directly without passing through this place and of course like i said we want to create an access for only the staff alone so that at least this place can be free that place can be free then there will be seamless uh, facilitation into in and out of the terminal building now let's take the moment to discuss the airlines operating from this new terminal so we encourage passengers as they come in they can look through of course the, the banner and see the airlines that are operating we have the air morocco we have the tag uh, angola we have the British uh, uh, Airways, we have Egypt here, we have Turkish Airlines, we have uh, Air Côte d'Ivoire, Lufthansa, United Nigeria, Ibom Air, Air uh, Rwanda Air. United Airlines, not Nigeria. Oh, United, oh, United uh, Airlines, uh, we have uh, Rwanda Air, Askai, Airpeace, Qatar, Kenya, South Africa, of course, this is Ghana, African World Airlines. It is us from Ghana. We have Delta Airlines, Uganda and the Uganda Airlines. These are the airlines okay. that operate from the, from the new terminal. In the whole airport, we have about 22. 22. And more, more are coming. Nigeria is actually a good market for airline business. Because the population is there, the market is there. Yes. That's 18 airlines yeah. operate from this new terminal. terminal. And they bought their passengers from here. from here yes and when they come we bust some of them either from the e apron or the d apron we bust them here they do their their immigration processes here take their luggages and then they exit from this place when you say you bust them that means their aircraft is parked actually at the old terminal in the, at the a, a front of the terminal, some, the of them, of the some of them, some of them, yes. So why did airlines remove, refuse to move here initially? When it was opened, we expected airlines to move in to this place. But just about about few, about eight of them were operating this place, and it was not uh, maximally utilized. In the old terminal, we had about 14, 14 airlines using that place, and of course those were the big airlines that were operating from that place, while the smaller air ones were using this place. But then when the Honorable Minister came, he said even before before then actually we've been planning to move because there was a need for us to do a total rehabilitation of the old terminal because it's old the facilities are old they are aging they, they are already down and so many things so in the wisdom of government the fact that even the previous government the fact that there is a need for them to do total rehabilitation so it has been on the drawing board for us to move and so when the new honorable minister came into after his inspection he also saw wisdom in it and said there's a need for us to move 
and he gave us a, a, a timeline of uh, October 1st to move into the new terminal so that the old terminal can be ready for, for rehabilitation. Even though when the minister gave us that timeline, we also gave ourselves also a timeline that no, if the minister said on the 6th, I think we should be able to move even earlier than that. But on the 6th of September, we had the unfortunate incident of the fire that, of course, it eventually forced everybody to move into this place because operation was going. So that very day after the fire incident, all the airlines moved into this place forcefully. Of course, with a lot of hitches, a lot of hiccups, a lot of uh, issues and everything. And then, you know, facilitation, a place that was not supposed to be a start-down terminal, now taking almost 22, 22 airlines. So many things that were happening. And then the Honorable Minister thought in his, his wisdom that there's a need for us to primarily use the deal wing of the old terminal at least to ease the tension of the new terminal and that's why we of course we now move again to the new terminal to operate from the from the deal wing of the old terminal and that's what we do so some airlines still have moved back again at least to ease the tension of this place and uh, we are operating seamlessly from the new terminal and then the deal the wing of the old terminal so as the problems were coming we were sorting them one by one and everything of course nigerians be who we are very patient and everybody wants everything done quickly and everything. We kept engaging them, kept talking to them, appealing to them, this, this and that. By the time they, they started seeing the ambience of the new terminal, some of them will begin to say, it's okay, even though we have delay, we can manage because of the, at least the, the cooling system, the ambience and everything. So we're managing, but at least for now, I think uh, we are sorting it out. At least the whole tension is already eased out and uh, yes, and uh, the airport authority has been actively working to address the things that passengers have flagged as being challenges, especially for mobility at this new terminal. Once you leave the screening points and you get to this area, this place is a very funny place. This place is a very funny place because you see a lot of crowd yeah. around here. Under normal condition, it will have been that uh, as you are coming in, you go straight to the departure hall. But this place is like a waiting area where a lot of crowd converge and they want to get up. But there are still some people that get confused. And that's the reason why we have some people here. We call them uh, our Savicom people. You see them wearing the reflective jacket that is written, ask me, so that they will be around here to direct people and to control them. Because a lot of people get confused, they want to go in. And that place is not supposed to be for departing passengers. This is just an arriving passenger. We've already engaged the Chinese. Sorry, please, I'm coming. Sorry, arrival, sir. Excuse me, is arrival? Yeah. Please, this is on the way. That's the way out. The elevator or the other side? No, 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 the other way. Okay, you see the confusion? You can see Nigerians don't read. There is a silence there. We have we have arrival silence. You can see, look at it. Can you see arrival concourse? Can you see it? Okay. That's Nigerians for you. We don't read. We have the silence even with the arrow pointing and to it. They have no entry here. Yes. There's no entry here. That's Nigeria for you. All right. So you have just the escalator and then you have the lift. Yes. But what if it breaks down? Are you <coughs> thinking of uh, another alternative? Yes, we're already thinking. We are thinking along that line because we've already engaged the Chinese. But for now, we've not had any issue. But we are thinking along that line that in case there's any problem, I definitely will we'll have an alternative of how to take them. But for now, we use the lift for them. One thing is for sure, this terminal hasn't finished unveiling itself. We're working on rail connections. Already in Abuja Airport, we have a railway station just by the international terminal. While in Lagos, we are working with the Lagos State Government with a view to having a light rail connecting the domestic MM2 as well as the international terminal. And if this one is achieved, it's going to make passengers' journey to the airport more seamless. So when is the best time to arrive at the airport in the evening to avoid chaos? According to the airport authority, Fridays and Saturdays are the peak times. Arrive early and put into account time to take to park and walk to the terminal. We hope this video has been a valuable resource for your travel plan.